It's my toxic trait. Ask all, and all my exes, they'll say I'm the most impatient. Would you like to introduce yourself? Oh. Hey guys, welcome. Or maybe welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I put the door on the outside of my bus. Um, I didn't do an intro before I did it, so here's my intro. Welcome, come along for the ride. So the table's already like painted. I did all that inside over the last few days. Um, instead of doing like an outdoor wood, like protective, like clear paint, the only one I had gives it like a light, like tan glow. And I wasn't really wanting that. And I thought I had extra Flex Seal spray on hand and I've never used it. So I thought I'd at least try it. And it seemed, I already did the um, top of the table the other, like last night. So I did the back today and it seems to like work good and like that's the thing like i might get sick of the way like i designed the table the way it looks this might not work and so this is something i can always replace so i'm not too worried about it i thought i would just try it because i have it on hand um so i'll take you guys through the process i'm gonna let that dry a little bit and i'm gonna tackle another project while i'm doing that <laughs> Okay, so I thought of something that I'm glad I thought of before I got too far. So this is what I'm screwing into the bus to um, hold like my hinge on to this. So I was originally going to screw this in the middle, in the middle down there to the bus, but then my hinge wouldn't lay flat because the screws would be in the way. So what I'm screwing this wood block into the bus, I'm putting two screws like on the side of the hinge so the hinge can lay flat against the wood. That would have been a really big rookie mistake. This is the worst part of like making anything that I hate is having to be like precise and like measure things. And I hate pilot hole like screw, like drilling. I don't know why, but I hate it. I, it just because I'm impatient and I like to get things done and I want them to be done and I don't want to have to take the time to make sure things are like precisionly done, which is funny because I'm a graphic designer. But I think that's because I know like on a computer I can always like easily fix something, but when it's like physical, I can't. <sighs> that's my toxic trait. Ask all and all my exes, they'll say I'm the most impatient person. So I would say I'm working on it. I was previously, but I quit working on it. It's just, I'm learning to deal with it. Here we go, I'm a little nervous. Oh my golly. Well, she's in there. Now I'm gonna caulk around it. Now I'm gonna spray flex it. Just joking. I feel like if I actually spray flexed it, people would be really angry. Kinda would work though. But I'm just gonna caulk it. Yeah. Did I say spray flex? I meant flex spray. I actually flex sprayed it. All the people who know what they're doing would be really angry probably. Or they might think I'm a genius. Know what I just thought of? I put liquid nail on the other side, like in between the wood and the bus. But you should have used butyl tape. So I have a lot of it. Getting these self-typing screws in here. It's quite the workout, even though I drilled pilot holes. Yeah, I'm sweating. I'm gonna go into more detail because these are always the type of videos I wish people would do instead of just like showing like I just did. I'm like giving the details, talking about the wood, talking about the screws. So I actually got it's pine because I got one by three inch. Um, I got it at eight foot. I'm also using it for something else, but I really just wanted to do the common board like I have 
in the inside of my bus, but they didn't have the three inches. It's only one by four. And four is just like way bigger than I needed. So I went with pine. I spent like $12. <laughs> anyway, um, and then I'm using Tex self-drilling wood to metal screws. Um, these are like, I bought these in the beginning of my bus build over a year ago. And I still have so many. So I'm using the one and seven sixteenths. These little guys. Um, yeah. I actually like have a love-hate relationship with them. I love that they go into metal. But when they go into the wood part, my wood's like too soft. And they aren't really, they're just like bolted in there almost. Like they're not screwed. There's like, they make a hole and then it's like shredded in the inside. But um, since it's in the middle, it's good. And I'm in like caulk and stuff. So it'll be good. Okay, I just had one of those moments where I was like, this is probably really easy for some people, but for people like me who have never hung up like brackets for a table before, this will help you. So I was confused. I wasn't sure should I put the bracket onto this first or onto the, the table because I knew the brackets had to be flush for it to like, you know, for the table to be able to bend up and down. So what I did is I only put one screw in. So this still moves around from side to side. So does this one. So I'm gonna screw one into the table now that's in there. Screw and screw in. And then I'll, when I know this is like flush and like 90, like perfectly flush with the table and like bends down, I'll screw the rest in. Like this is the perfect like bar table, perfect bar height to like have a drink and a cook and stuff outside, but yay. <laughs> Wow, that was a good one. This is a mess and still in like con construction zone. Um, so because of the way that my table lays against like the um, rib like part of the bus that has that piece that like bubbles out, it almost, it sits like flush against it but not flush, like not flat enough to lock the hinges to like lock into place to like stay close while I'm driving. And I didn't want to do like a hook lock on it because I knew that could still like jiggle around. I wanted something that was just really tight. So this is what I chose to do. I bought these. I went to Lowe's for the first time in a long time. I usually go to Home Depot, but they're just like a rope loop. And so this is gonna go on the back side of the table and also on the bus and then I'm tying it. I was just gonna use like a rope that I had, but I'm going to tie it with a gear tie. That way I know I can always keep it tight and this is simple. And I think it's gonna work, and if it does, I'm gonna go with it. If not, I'll figure something else out. <laughs> All right, so there, here, and then my thinking was this gear tie will tight like tie in between them. And why I chose this because I didn't want any like chains dangling, I didn't want any of that. Um, I just wanted something that was like simple and I can always use these for like other purposes as well. I wanted something that was like low profile and you can't even really see that and the table's up. And then this can just come off. So here it is, tightened, doesn't move. It's a new day, I showered. She showered. But thanks for following along, guys. Um, if this is your first video with me, welcome. I just started my YouTube channel. Um, I'll be sharing more projects that I'm doing. I'll be living in it full time this summer and traveling. So lots of that, lots of dog stuff too. Um, but leave a comment what you think about the table. I know there's other ways to do these tables. This is the way I chose. Um, if you have tips on like a more convenient or simple way to put this up better than what I did, feel free to leave a comment. I'm really open to learning. I'm sure people watching this would also like to see what tips and your opinions as well. So I will catch you next time, guys. <laughs>